Cameron Matheson in the house. Hello. <laughs> I love the intro. Been looking forward to meeting you. Wow, amazing individual. That's you a are. Lot to live up to. But you've done everybody who has come in contact with you, who's worked with you on. We'll get to Game and Ho Game of Homes in just a moment. But I have a lot of friends who worked on that show, and they are like, this guy is the nicest, oh. most positive, funny, sweet. And then Riaz and I go on your Twitter page, and up comes your family. It's like, could his family be more beautiful, too? <laughs> well, thank you. That's very You're nice very to hear. Welcome. I appreciate that. And I will call you Ryan Lavery forever. That's I was just fine. All my children fan from I way back. Answer to both with no hesitation. So Can't for the run. soap fans, before yes. we get to Game of Homes, which mm -hmm. we totally will, I promise, um, what's Michael Knight like? He is Michael Knight played Tad, Tad. on All My Children right. for a very long time. And he's a, he's a great guy. He's a good Friend of mine, he's super funny. Yeah, like I guess you see that on on camera, but in in, in person, he's just he's just a great guy. He's Dad the cat. Yeah. Now you and Rebecca Budding blew up as Ryan and Greenlee. What's that like for you when you walk down the streets and somebody goes Ryan? It has been so long since I've answered these questions. I got. I mean, here's the thing: That's is how that old Rebecca I am. and I are still very very close. Like yeah. she's still one of my closest friends. I'm crazy about. She just had a baby in Did real she? life. Oh. Um, she's married, she's happy, she, we live close by to each other, we get to see each other. It's fantastic. Didn't she's she, amazing. Didn't she's she doing the first apprentice winner or something? Or Bachelor. Bachelor? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> close. One of those reality shows. Yeah. But you know Jody what? Jody Fail. But that's a different husband at this different. point. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. That's okay. We've yeah. all been through that. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Anyways, so uh, working behind the scenes yes. or working uh, on a soap is, is far more grueling than people might imagine. It is. You know, I you kind of get used to it. I. Um, I, I was okay with it. Like, it's yeah. a lot of lines. You memorize like 15 to 25 pages. I had one day where I memorized 59 pages of dialogue in one day. I had to memorize that, How which is insane, that? and that was hard. But in general, like, you just kind of get in a rhythm. You know the character. You know the character almost better than the writers do, and you just kind of get the essence of their, and it just comes a lot easier over time. You know, it, you it's, it's like a muscle. Like a, you, right. You, you develop it, like working out. And you've expanded while well, you're a meditator, a workout fanatic. You're, you're a, a uh, an insect or bugs? Uh, oh, you saw my Twitter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, bug rescuer. Rescuer, so that means you have small children. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. And that makes you a chauffeur as well. That's right, so you saw that. That's yeah. right. My little, you I get it, work. I have a seven year old. Okay, very good. I get yeah. your program. But now you're hosting, and Game of Homes, we've got some B roll of this amazing right. program that is going to launch on March 17th, 10 o'clock. It is so right? cool, yeah. It is you a guys, fantastic show. What did you, you brought in these houses? Okay. Give us the, so give here, us the deal. Here, here's the deal is that there was these rundown houses ready for like demolition. We lifted them up off the foundation we barged them to downtown Vancouver and we created our own little like kind of set with these four houses and a team for each house team of two and they have to like renovate room by room each of these houses. Every, every week there's a competition living room master bedroom etc all the way through and at the end of the contest the team that's deemed to have the best transformation wins their house they actually win the house but and a piece of land you get, okay. to pay, you get to choose the land pick up the house and put it on the piece of land that you want to put it on it's, it's an unbelievable prize how outrageous do they, how do they move the house though well, there's a whole company that does that. And, and that's included yeah. in the prize? That's a, included in the prize. Dude, that's huge. It's a crazy thing. It's okay, an amazing so prize. And these, these guys, these, these four teams of amateur designers, I might say, are so talented. And on paper, I didn't think it was even possible that they'd be able to do this in the amount of time that we had to do it. And they knocked it out of the park. They were amazing. So they had some help, amateur designers, but they had, did they have some construction well, help? Or they did had they a little, to... yeah, they had a contractor that they could work with, ask okay. advice, and helped out a little bit. But essentially, it was all them. It was amazing. Really? It was so inspiring. You know, I, I got so inspired that we actually turned the tables on me, and I pitched this to W Network, and they loved it. And we've got an online series that's going to run in conjunction with Game of Homes at the same time, where I'm renovating parts of my house with my beautiful family. No way. Yeah, and it's so fun, and it was, it was just a, such a great time. I'm like, I'm so jacked on this whole design build aspect. Okay, so we're going to watch Game of Homes on the W Network starting yeah. on March 17th. That's correct. And then we're going online, and we're watching your show starting Cameron's House Rules. Online, oh, same time. It, it runs at the same time. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Check it out. How did you find this gig? How did you get this gig? How did you land in Vancouver? Um, you know, I think they were just searching for people that had somewhat of a of a background. I, I graduated from structural engineering at McGill, and so even though in my career I haven't really done very much, you know, in the design build in my personal life, I have. Uh, it was just a good fit. It's something I always wanted to do and be a part of. And um, like I say, I got just super inspired by it. Wow, I thought I knew everything about you, Ryan Lavery. Well, you know. No, Cameron Matheson, instruction. You see, it doesn't even finish me. I know, you right? Ryan you're like, yeah, I'm well, like, whatever, let's like just I'm going to let her roll with it. I actually, I know who you are. But that's amazing yeah. about uh, 
what you went to school for. How did yeah. you make the transition into acting? Do you like this is my something to fall back on, and now I'm going to go pursue my dream? Or? Yeah, kind of. I mean, essentially, it was just uh, something that happened. I was I worked for my professors at, at McGill in the summers, and then one summer I was just kind of stumbled across uh, somebody who just suggested to go and take some classes here, and one thing led to another, and then all of a sudden I started working. I wrote my last exam in engineering at McGill, and I I took off to uh, to Europe for a job from that exam, like with my bags packed, wow. and I was off. So that was my last little bit of engineering. At that time. There are a lot of people watching, both male and female, right now going, we're really glad you did, Cameron Matheson. Follow him on Twitter, connect online, watch Game of Homes on March 17th on W. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Come too. back and visit us anytime. Oh, You're I a pleasure. Everybody, you. you were right about him. He's super nice. Oh.